starting uh, with the launch of the... Speaking during the launch, CSQ Njuri said the task force has several objectives that it seeks to achieve in the next 30 days. The task force will keenly look into the sugar industry, trying to find out what is truly ailing the sector and thereafter present its findings to the president. Regulatory and institutional framework of the sugar industry and make appropriate recommendations. If you past, present, and emerging challenges facing the sugar industry, and uh, all these, I will read them, I don't have to repeat uh, appropriate recommendations. Review the sugar industry variation, including research, and make appropriate recommendations. Review importation and taxation structures in the sugar sector. Undertake an ob ob absolute and comparative assessment of the sugar industry competitiveness in the East African community, the common markets for Eastern and Southern Africa, that is COMESA, and uh, globally, and also make appropriate recommendations. Undertake an analysis of the role of different stakeholders, segments, and make recommendations on how stakeholders can collaborate amongst themselves then with the national county government to develop the sugar subsector. Identify and evaluate the most suitable strategic interventions to revitalize the state owned sugar mills. Diffuse the pricing mechanism in the sugar sector and make appropriate recommendations. Review funding mechanism, make recommendations, address all other issues that may refertilize the sugar industry. Sugar cane farming is the main uh, economic mainstay. Kakamega County Governor Dr. Oparanya, during his address, challenged CSQ and jury to pay sugar cane farmers. This, he says, is the first step towards righting all the wrongs committed against sugar cane farmers in the past. But I would also request through you, uh, the Cabinet Secretary in charge of agriculture, that we embark on a program to start paying farmers so that uh, uh, we do not wait for the task force as you are doing the same for the maize farmers, you do the same for the sugarcane farmers. I think what you will require is to carry out an audit as soon as uh, possible, and the money should be availed from the Treasury. Uh, the President already committed $2.6 billion, the farmers' arrears, which we should be able to pay. And this will also encourage the farmers to start farming cane. They, are, they had actually abandoned cane farming because of non-payment. And if it, this is done, I'm sure that uh, we will move forward. Also present was Devolution C.S. Eugene Wamalwa, who said that revival of the industry will take concerted efforts between the national and county governments. This is despite the fact that agriculture is a devolved function. The mere fact that we have both the national government and the county seated here shoulder to shoulder mm. is a recognition of the fact that uh, agriculture is devolved, mm. that the two levels of government must work together, and my ministry is really to work on that uh, intergovernmental relations to ensure that we work together. Because the issue of uh, sugar is a crisis that goes beyond the counties. It affects the national, our national economy. That's why we're here and uh, we're going to work together to ensure that this matter uh, is resolved. And I know some of the issues that uh, will be looked at, uh, there, there are those who have been asking whether the national government can leave the counties to uh, maybe take over those factories. Mm -hmm. But as national government, the history will show that uh, a lot of money has been pumped into these uh, public entities with little success. So these task force will be looking at uh, that reason why the private ones are doing well and not the public ones. And uh, I think by working together, we'll be able to resolve these issues and to find not just short-term, but long-term solutions to what bedevils this industry. 
The task force will comprise of 14 people, among them CS Mwangi Kionjuri, co-chairperson, Kakamega County Governor Dr. Wickley from Betsao Paranya, who will also co-chair, and Kusumu Governor Professor Anyang Nyongo. The task force shall work within a 30-day time frame with specific deliverables as outlined in the task force details work plan. Yeah,